Greetings, YouTube. We are at VDTA 2019, and we're at the Lynn House booth, and we have an area, but we're not at the area hotel. It is the area canister. And this is maybe one of the lesser known canisters, but it's great. It's from Lynn House. So it's European quality and design. So if you're not familiar with this, which I'm not too familiar, it's been a couple years since I've seen one of these in person. These are super heavy duty products as always from Lynn House. You have your on, off right there, suction, lead valve, and then a limit in terms of the how much the hose can move there. You have a quick disconnect power head, a nice telescoping wand, stainless steel feels really heavy duty. And then this is your standard Lynn House power head where the brush roller pops out pretty easily. It's height adjustment, super high quality. And I was talking with the Lynn House rep and we were saying that Lynn House is really a commercial vacuum company that happens to make home vacuums. And that's what's going on here. Because even though this is a home vacuum, they still have that heavy duty, quick brush roller release, really well made unit. So if you have a big home or you're just rough on vacuums, Heck, even if you had a commercial cleaning company, uh, this would definitely be something to consider. These are really well built. And as you can see, these just go in and out, back together. That's super fast. Lifetime belt system. I've never had to change a belt in a Lynn house. I doubt you will either. Now, what we have here in the canister, this is a little bit First thing we have is we have full size of onboard tools, fair size crevice tool, nice dusting brush with a swivel. So a good set of onboard tools. And then we have our upholstery tool right there as well. And this actually works really well on pet hair. I've used this before. Nice heavy duty door and there's a nice heavy duty handle. Now when we go to the uh, controls back here, let's take a look. We have our suction control, we have our bag check indicator. So the controls of the unit, turn it on right here, there's 800. And then we can go to our max power right there, full bag check. And the motor gradually steps up so you're not hurting or overstressing the motor. Expendable, same type of HEPA filter that we expect. And one thing about Lynn House is this will blow a zero, so if you have allergies, this is an excellent option. Now we're going to put this on. Really heavy duty. It's not a And then we're going to get to the latch, is this guy right here. And then the hose pops off right there. And if we pull the bag out, self seals kind of reminiscent of some of the other European vacuum cleaners. Then we have a pre-motor filter there. And if the bag's not in there, it's not going to shut. So I've got a fresh bag here. I'm going to pop this in. This is going to pop up. Just like so. So you can't put it in wrong. Your hose snaps in there. You don't have to do the hose. I just did. You don't you open it without the hose. And then there's a bare floor tool which we'll talk about in a minute. So we're going to do a pickup test real quick with the area canister. Did pretty good. 
on there. Now we have a little bit of static electricity on there and we found the same when we did the central vac pickup test with the MD booth that a little bit of static electricity builds up on that. And that's partially because these things aren't grounded here in this country. So we can blame somebody, uh, whoever said that vacuums don't need to be grounded in this country. But that, that's kind of what that's from. But that did pretty good. So let's see what the bare floor does. Was done on the bare floor there. A little bit of fine dust, but again, that's a power head. We're going to try the bare floor tool and see how that does. So we're going to give their bare floor tool a chance, which has a double suction, a squeegee, and a brush. So that did really well. You can see that did really well. Their bare floor tool is awesome. I was using this earlier yesterday and it's just fantastic. So let's... right there. So you can park it in both positions as well. In terms of weight, weight is all right. It's not overly heavy, it's not overly light, and these casters are really well. Well, thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and hit that like button.